fantastic vegetarian dish as an alternative to steak and mash. We're going to be doing mushroom steak, mash, and a lovely cream mushroom sauce. Uh, we've got the king trumpet mushrooms, which actually have a very similar texture to meat. Um, they're fantastic in size. What we're going to do is we're going to simply slice them vertically down the middle, open them up, and then we're going to griddle them to get a nice lovely bar marking on there. We're going to bang them in the oven just to finish cooking and we're going to serve it with some creamy mash and a lovely mushroom sauce. What I've done here is I've got the griddle on the boiling plate of our hot plate and we've left it to heat up for a good 10 minutes. It's really important that the griddle's really hot before you add the mushrooms. And what I've simply done is I've oiled the mushrooms and I've seasoned the mushrooms and I've gone in and I've done them all in the same line because I want a nice charring effect and coloring effect from the griddle marks. Uh, the hot plate I've actually set today at 320 degrees, so it's super hot, won't have a problem charring, this, uh, charring the mushrooms. And what we're gonna do next is just add a little bit of soy sauce. This gives it a new dynamic. It'll actually help to caramelize and color the mushrooms and it just gives it a bit of depth of flavor. Okay, so now that the mushrooms are roasting in the main oven, we need to start preparing the sauce. Make sure your pan's nice and hot. We're then going to add shallots. I'm gonna cook these down for about two to three minutes to start the sauce off. We're gonna add the mushrooms. I'm going to cook these down again for another about three to four minutes just until they soften and then we'll begin with the sauce. Next we're going to add a good glug of white wine and what we're looking to do is boil off the alcohol content and reduce this down. So again this will take about 30 seconds, we'll pop in the stock and allow it to come back up to the boil. We're gonna finish the sauce with some double cream. Doesn't need to be a huge amount of double cream. And we're just gonna add a knob, a little knob of butter, just to give the sauce a nice sheen. Finish the sauce off with a little bit of seasoning and some chopped parsley. It's time to take the mushrooms out of the oven. Okay, to simply assemble this dish, it's really, really easy. Get your creamy mash. Place it in the center. Add your mushroom steaks. 